<laughs> hey guys, I'm Alice, and today we're gonna be talking about Turkish stereotype. Hell yeah, this will be a fun video. If you don't know anything about Turkey or Turkish culture or Turkish people, you'll be knowing right now. Because it's gonna change everything you know. So let's begin. One, like our moms don't allow us to, you know, go inside with the um, shoes because it's, you know, rude and dirty and stuff. So you have to put your shoes outside or just there like in the entrance. And they're always so mad when you go inside with your shoes. And they're all gonna be like, what the hell are you doing? I just cleaned it. I just cleaned it. What kind of a person are you? You're gonna do it in your house too? Are you gonna do it like that? Hmm? Your husband's gonna say what? What? He wants to live in a dirty house? But everything's gonna be changed when your neighbors or a guest come to your house. She's gonna be like, oh my god, hello, oh, just, just don't, don't, please, please just don't. Come with your shoes. It, it's dirty anyway, I, I'll clean it tomorrow, so please, please, just don't. Don't, 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 please, go with your shoes. No, 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 please, please, no, 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 no. Come inside, come inside, let mm. You take your shoes off. And we are like, what the f <laughs> Two. If you're walking down the street, like you see like birds all over the place, I will go like this because I, I'm scared like s some of them are gonna pee on me or gonna shit on me or something like that. You're thinking like that. But Turkish people don't think like that. They just, you know, walk on the street like and then some bird come and then and I know you all like, oh my god, that's disgusting. But Turkish people like, oh my god, I'm so lucky. You see this? I have to take a lottery. Yeah, I don't know why, but Turkish people think that, you know, a bird shit on you means a good luck. So you have to go and buy a lottery because you're gonna be the next millionaire. Three. Turkish people, you know, really seriously think about like the hospitality. You have to give something to your guests and they have to eat it because if they don't oh my god please 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 have it please you have to i'm gonna be opening this okay okay i know you want this okay please please i just bought for you okay take it take it you want more you just want more you don't like it i'm, I'm gonna be i'm gonna grab some more i know you don't like it i know you don't like it i just told my husband that 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 was a mistake i'll call the market right now right now what you like what you like it's like you have to eat it when you when you go to someone else's house like they're all gonna be like this this hospitality is um, so important that they can <laughs> kill you with the food four like when you invite someone to like a dinner or something or a coffee anything you should be paying the money but your friend your guest or whatever is gonna say no but you have to say I'll pay it so this is gonna be a huge argument Okay, you know what? I'm gonna be paying this. Just don't. Don't do that. Put your money in your back, please. Please, I'll, I'll handle this. I'll handle this. No, you're my guest. No, no, I don't care how much you eat. I don't, I don't care if it's $100. No, I'm gonna pay it. Yeah, if you do this, I, I'm not gonna be coming anywhere with you. Six. We all have doorbells, right? But in Turkey, your answer to the doorbell is different. Let's make it clear. Who is this? Uh, me. Uh, okay. I was like, mm, who are you? We're just saying me. Like, who the hell are you? How can I, how can I understand who are you? We all do this. We say, oh, yeah, okay. If you hear in the news that someone, you know, gets stabbed or something, their fault, you open the door, bitch. Six, questioning nullity. I know it sounds like a crazy stuff that how is that possible? It's possible if you're in Turkey or you are a Turkish. I'm gonna make an example so you can understand. Alice, do we have eggs? No mom, we don't have any eggs. None? I mean like, we don't have any eggs means like none. So why are we asking like none? Yeah, in Turkish, it's like that. Seven. If someone says you something or just asks you something and you, you say like no, you say like no. Do we have something? No. Are you coming? No. But we're not like that. We don't use that word like no. We do it like this. Do we have eggs? Are you coming to the cinema? Do you think you are a bitch? And this this thing, even just we can't write this like This is not a word. This is nothing like that. 
You can say just no, but no, 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 no. No, we can't do this. We don't know that word. We say, I don't know. I don't know what kind of people we are. So we have got like more stereotypes, but I won't be giving it to you. So if you like it, please go and thumbs up and subscribe. So I'll be making the second part of the Turkish stereotypes. If you think we're interesting or weird, just you don't know anything about us. I know you don't know this stuff. That's all for today. I'm, I love making these videos. So please help. Just, you know. Where's my cat? Bye. This is the way we make videos. Hmm. Hmm. Mark.